Hi everybody, with the release of 1.15 for DayZ on console and PC, we've had the ability to spawn in custom areas using a combination of the gameplay, uh, CFG gameplay.json and uh, custom JSON files. And one of the questions I've been asked is, how do you um, refer to multiple different JSON files? Because the, the power of this system is that you don't have to have one massive file with all the changes in. You can have lots of different JSON files that you can get from different places um, that would refer to. So for example, in this case, this is a, like, a, a, like a plane crash at the Northeast Airfield. You could have that as one file, and then maybe someone else would do a file for um, a, some military tent uh, up north of Tizzy, and then you can refer to all of them. But what is the syntax you use? Well, it's quite simple, really. So what you need to do is you need to access your um, CFG gameplay uh, .json file, which will be in your file browser. Uh, there is so there's CFG gameplay .json, and you need to download it. And just so you can see, so in here in my custom folder, my Nitrado Servo, see we've got we've got two two JSON files: NEAF evac and Skaliski allotment. So they're two different JSON files that add two different areas of cu custom buildings. And then in your CFG gameplay.json, you just need to use that format there. So it's object spawner array, and then within the square brackets, you then have inverted commas, and as you can see, we've got custom forward slash skillistki allotment.json, uh, quotation marks comma, and then quotation marks custom forward slash uh, NEAF evac.json quotation marks uh, close square brackets. So you just just delineate them, you separate them with an ordinary comma. That's all you've got to do. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh, this looks interesting, I'll put a link in the description down below um, to the various files you need to turn on. But basically, you need to make sure that your CFG gameplay.json um, file is turned on in your general settings of your Nitrado or whichever server provider you're using. You need to turn that on first. By, by ticking the box and saving or adding a line to your um, server uh, uh, dz.config file or serverconfig.dz file, I can't remember which way it goes, um, to make sure that the uh, daisy uh, server.exe will then refer to this file. But if you're wondering how do you have multiple JSONs, all you do is you put them in the object spawner array line and you just separate them with commas. Custom slash skaliski allotment.json. Uh, quotation marks comma quotation marks custom forward slash neaf evac dot json quotation marks close square brackets and it is simple as that and then you will have the magic of being able to have multiple different custom areas so i'm really looking forward to this because it means that literally people will be able to do concentrate on little areas of the map and say look i've done this bit here you go here's the json and you'll just have to upload it to your custom file and add the um the address with the name of the JSON to your CFG gameplay um, uh, .json file, and when you restart the server, it will be there. There we go. Hopefully, you found that useful. Uh, if you have, hit like if you want to see more of the same. Press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.